everybody and welcome back. I hope you all have had a great weekend and are you know, and are you know well rested for the week, I guess. I don't know. Um I hope you all are doing well. It basically. Um But uh yes, hello, hello and welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing all right. Um we're going to be continuing Assassin's Creed Syndicate here in just a moment. But before that, uh, we are going to briefly talk about the fact that I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. You can go to that website or you can go to it through my link tree. Whichever you want to do, it's up to you. Um, it's a place where you can support me and help me continue to make content and all that wonderful shit like that. Um... Let me actually check to make sure that you guys are actually hearing me. That would be hilarious. No, you guys could hear me according to OBS. So anyway, um, but uh, yeah, like I said, that's it. Patreon, support me, support content, etc., etc., etc. Excuse the coughing as usual. Um, so yeah, uh, do I have any announcements? Um, no. No, not really. No, not that I can think of. Um, no, no, I don't. So let's just get right on back in to Assassin's Creed Syndicate, shall we? and run Bertha another mile for that dirty bull bag. Okay, look. <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. Have you met you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. <laughs> I believe I know someone who can help with that. He's such a child. I knew you would, Greeny. He's such a child. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. Talk her a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. This is a nice train. I mean, look at it. Shit. Uh, I can't switch to Eevee at the moment. Shame. Can't switch off to the uh, superior twin. Where is that? I hear it. Where is it? Back here? It's back here. Alright, cool. Alrighty. Come on, go. Go on the train. There you go. Agnes? Like 
All right, gang upgrades. <clears throat> medicine market. You can now buy medicine in shops. Use medicine during combat to quickly recover health. Acquire. Do, 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 do. We can increase their training. Purchase carriages for the rooks. Look for them on the streets. Include the watcher archetype. Watchers use their firearms more often than other archetypes. Carriage sabotage. The blighters repairman seems to have left the country. <laughs> Blighter carriages are less resilient. Police bribes. Police will turn a blind eye to some of your illegal activities. Uh, little rooks. Children are the best thieves in London. <clears throat> when using Q to interact with them, they'll give you better loot items. The growler boom. Increase the pro popularity of the growler. Look for more of this favorite on the streets of London. Uh, that's the type of carriage. <coughs> Black market affiliation. Ammunition comes cheaper when you know the right person. <coughs> Excuse me. Save 25% on gun and throwing knife ammunition at any shop. Increase the train hideout income by 500 pounds every 30 minutes. And the maximum safe capacity by 500 pounds. Cool. And there's a few of those. Now, in a shop talk. I believe Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted you to meet. Yeah. <coughs> hey, Yvonne. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could make it. How are you doing? <coughs> Excuse me while I die slowly. All right, so we have sequence three, freedom of the press down here. We have Robert Topping. Okay. All right, where are we? We're in Southwark currently. All right. You here vibing? How am I? I'm doing all right, aside from the coughing. Switch to Eevee now? No. Uh, I got a new gauntlet that I can upgrade to. Interesting. New belts. And of course, the outfits. <laughs> the one I want him to get is the... That I like for him to have is the... Shoot, I forget which one. Maybe the Outdoorsman? I don't remember. It's... it's... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the goal... The, ex the stated goal here... Is we are here primarily looking to push until we get the gauntlet uh the gauntlet um upgraded to have the god what's it called the grap grappling gun that's the goal that's the stated goal so we're gonna focus on missions until then I will not get distracted. I will not get distracted. I will not get distracted. 
distracted. I will not. I will not. I will not get distracted. Twins take a broken device to a close associate of Henry's to be repaired. <clears throat> What's with the dots, Yvonne? Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, oh um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor, and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, it looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, <coughs> comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, Piggy if Fry I and the other the fuses ones. Absolutely. connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Static will be weakened. Only we are somewhat at a handicap. And yeah. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage, if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. <laughs> God damn. You really ought to be here by now. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? Uh, <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the price has become entirely dependent on the Static Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have their lines sabotaged, and they have little means of finding any broken fuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct, especially as one the needs a special power. government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. From a ledge, press R to zip line across large gaps. From a ledge, press R to zip line across larger gap or across large gaps. While ziplining, control speed with W and S, and shift. <coughs> do air assassinations. Come on. There we go. Bat fry. No, I failed. <laughs> she decided to do a leap of faith. That's not what I wanted her to do. <laughs> There we 
we go. Alright. Alright, next one's Lovely. over there. Right, it is a lovely view. <laughs> On one second, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it doing that? That's fascinating. Oh, well, whatever. All right. So we need to get there. And we can't go below 30 meters above ground. Oh, we also need to get there. Okay, so no leaps of faith. No. Take the slow way down. Headphones being weird. Should do it. I am too tall, too high up to to have a zip line. Fine.
Why do you reckon? I mean in the head. Oh, his nose into it. <laughs> Pardon? Just chilling here for a second. There we go. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help. Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. That poor horse. That poor horse. <laughs> this is the button I'm looking for. There we go. All right, it wants me to come over here. In Lambeth. Lambeth. All right. Time to get immediately distracted.
craft new gear, blah, 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 blah. Income activities, especially robbing cargo from trains, provide large amounts of crafting resources. Find unique resources and crafting plants in hidden chests. Smoke bomb upgrade. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll just do that real quick. We'll do that real quick. Hi, fellas. Miss Fry, uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> And on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at any time. Come here. I need you. Now that we've finished with that distraction, who is that? Oh, you mean you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. God, I love Ned. Let us return to locating the Peace of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the temple is intended. Jacob, I have information about Staric's associates that should be of use to you. In other words, yeah. I can satisfy you both. I have two hands. <laughs> Use the assassination wall on the train hideout to track the next Templar target. 
Uh, expand territory by completing conquest activities, complete associate activities to learn uh, to earn money, crafting uh, resources and unique rewards. Yes, I did have to phrase it that way. Because that's exactly what I was going for. Oh, interesting. All right, real quick, the outdoorsman outfits. We need to get Jacob all spiffied up here. Uh, outfits, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I have to... Ah, uh, fine. Forgot. Forgot that you have to purchase them. Uh, fine. Uh, belts. I need to earn money. Right there. All right. Hey, Yvonne. And not just Yvonne, but like everybody. Trans rights matter. <laughs> Trans rights, let's go. Ned Weinert. Oh, shoot, hi man. Stop by for a visit, my lord. skills holy shit okay so i have no reason not to let's see here uh lock picking uh loot takedown oh these are jacob's skills right Forgot there were two separate trees. They level up at the same rate. They gain skills at the skill points at the same rate, but you have to upgrade them at separately. I forgot that. Kind of like the uh, Bat Family in Gotham Knights. Now that I think about it. Um. One more. I think I have to take the Eagle Vision upgrade. Yeah. All right. Not that that's a bad thing.
Oh, just one second. All right, I need to check a thing. Sorry, I have some stuff that popped up that I need to... Okay. Come on, OBS. There we go. Ned is genuinely one of the best characters in the game, from what I recall. Ned and Eevee, I remember adoring. Anyway. Uh, inventory, right. I need to get him something a bit leveled up. Give him that. Oh, actually, no. We'll give him... Yeah, we'll give him that. Uh... What is the one that she currently has? This one, I think. Uh, belt. Yeah, I don't have enough to do uh, upgrade his belt yet, or get him the outfit I want him to have. Um, <clears throat> Never let your upper lip as the black markets. Yeah, I don't think I can afford anything at the moment. Oh, damn it. Hello. Afternoon, go. My rook. I'll do, Gov. currently at? Where am I currently at? Okay. Hi, Evie. Just chilling. Mom? Where's the top hat? She's criticizing the top. She just got him a new. Basically, they just got him the outdoorsman outfit, and he's what not he wearing it. <laughs> I love her. She's such a sibling. We need to do something about your outfit. And you can just sightsee as you roll along. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get this train on rolling. All right. Come on. We need to off that. There you go. So that we can. Your sta stationary. We swap to Eevee. 
Inventory. Capes. Capes. Ah, 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 ah. Right. Come on. Capes. Ooh. Nope, not that. There we go. Alright, so she's at yeah, I was right. She's on that one. Ooh, we can get her that one now. Let's get her let's let's get her the level two gauntlet. And we're gonna upgrade it. And now we should be able to do the, just give that to Jacob. Alright, and she's on the adept cane sword, like is what he is. Yep, she's on the pocket pistol. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot to give him was the firearm. Uh, skills. She's got five skills. Uh, we'll do that one. Skill point. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. Give her the thing that she's best in. Um, we'll do that. Oh, that's the wrong button. That one. There we go. Okay, um, now swapping to Jacob, inventory, firearms, level 3 pocket pistol, and level 3 gauntlet, and the level 3 sword. Alright, now we just need to get the, oh, I can equip it, I can equip it, I just need to upgrade it, got it. So this is what his canon appearance is. As the leader of the Rooks. And this is what she was saying about the top hat. The where's the top hat? Train's ours now. May as well make ourselves at home. Alright, swap back to Evie. So she chills up here. When she's on the train, she chills up here in this chair. Let's see if we can find where Jacob chills when he's on the train. There he is. Right next to the safe. With Agnes. Across from his murder board. Ah, solid okay. Good for putting a bit of stick about. Is our mission currently uh oh we're in white chapel cool um we have a thing here for shoot what's his name robert topping who's actually chilling on the train at the moment um we have a thing over here templar hunt suggested level nine we're not there yet no we're not there yet for level nine um chest there i'm not gonna worry about that i'm worrying i'll worry about now that i've got the uh the zip line i'll that's now now i'll worry about uh the collectibles in my free time um so like chests and stuff like that i'll get in my free time you know for you all right so the train track will come down here around here so then when i get over okay 
There. Looking lovely today, Evie. What do you want, Jacob? <laughs> she is, though. There's a Robert Topping over here, the job over here. Yeah. We go to the wild Actually, that's a thought. City of London is... Well, we started in Whitechapel. City of London suggests level is six. James is four. Southwark is five. Lambeth is three. So I think Lambeth is the one we need to go to next. Uh, Westminster is nine, eight, six. Yeah, so we need to go down here. Where's the train currently? Ooh, it's about to go into the Thames. The Thames. Nah, we'll, uh, I can get there faster. Huh? 
Kingdom for a horse. Music box. So one of the sets of collectible uh, co collectibles collectibles is this vault right here, the Rouge's vault, um, and you get you have to collect all the music boxes that are in town um, and. It'll take you to that. Well, not take you to it. It'll unlock it for you. But anyway. There's my little perch. What's on the map here? Tiled Liberation. Battersea Bellows. Hey, Yvonne, what do you think? Should we do a Child Liberation or a Gang Stronghold? What do you think? Well, I mean, anybody can answer. It doesn't have to be Yvonne, but, you know. Yvonne is the person I know is there. Always liberate the children. I mean, we'll do both. It's just, which should we do first? trigger the alarm. Stay right where you are! 
No, I don't think I will. In our first priority. Fair enough. Okay. Children liberation completed.
Build a leader undetected. Free and protect the captured rooks. Detected until I had landed on top of her, but oh well. There you go, that's the button. Come on. Enter. There you go. Pardon, pardon me, just popping in to do a little bit of... Grabby, grabby. Coming through. Hey, watch where you're flapping your wings, you bloody turkey. Watch where you're flapping your wing, you, your wings, you bloody turkey. I chase cat, you rank up. Fuck off. Templar hunt, a bounty hunt, and another Templar hunt. Ooh. What do you think, Yvonne? Templar hunt, Templar hunt, or bounty hunt?
What do you think? Ooh, there's actually another bounty hunt, it looks like. Yeah, two bounty hunts and two Templar hunts. Which one? Templar hunt? Left or right? Too many choices? Alright, I'll just, I'll pick one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> said left so that's the one that I did not pick which is this one Locate Clyde Striker. Locate Ada Striker. Do not let the targets kill more than two civilians. Another Clyde Striker. Completing this challenge will grant extra money and experience. Do not let the Lambeth bully kill more than two bullies kill more than two civilians. Who should we target this time, Ada? Order from strain is a beacon of the rocks. Yes, I know I have to clear uh, have to leave the area to complete the thing, but I want <laughs> No, that's not what I wanted, AD. call and go and left they had civilian hostages that they were just going to execute He's trying to do the smart thing and leave. Yeah, yeah.
The cane gives you an undeniable air of joie de vivre. <laughs> oh, I think I failed. No, I don't think I will. Yep. It's Clyde Striker. Where's his sister? She's only struggling because the person controlling her is an idiot. It's fine. There we go. There we go. I did the thing. Now, which of the remaining three things here should we do? We have two bounty hunts for one for Mildred Graves, one for Jesse Butler, and we have a Templar hunt. Come on. For the Fletchers. What do you think? Bounty? Mildred Graves or Jesse Butler? Jesse Butler? All right. There is one thing I need to do real quick. Hold on, hold on. If I could push the right button. Skills. There we go. All right. Um. We'll do that one. Level four. Level up. He's mad. Look, if we're coming all the way out. Look the blood right. doesn't clear it out. God, that was a horrible accent. I'm sorry, everybody. That was a sh that was that was painful.
Okay, so that's where I need to deliver them, I think. There we go. Jesse Butler. Completing this challenge with them, blah, blah, blah. Bring back the target alive. I did what? You need a layoff. Hey, cab. Listen. No, don't kill. Listen, I'll do anything. Let me go. Take my money. Keep your money. You're going to need it. Get me out of here. Entitled, was he? Short now. All righty. <laughs> Templar hunt on the Fletchers or bounty hunt for Mildred Graves? Took me back here. Stop that. Take me to the viewpoint, not the damn train. Forgot if I'm in that train again. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, for the love of Christ. sense into people with that cane. All right, Agnes, where are you? There you are. It's the perfect time for a jaunt around London. Pleasure to see you. A very fine afternoon to you this evening.
mistress to contribute some tea. Man, look at him looking all chill and <laughs> Fine, I'll start the next sequence. I think. Hold on. Progress tracker. Here we go. Sequence. One, two, three. Okay, so we are on sequence four. Okay, good. Fine, I'll start the next sequence. <coughs> Quick and reliable remedy. A rift is opened between Jacob and Evie. He does not support Evie's quest for the Peace of Eden. She sees Jacob's campaign to take on the Templars as reckless and sloppy. Working separately, Jacob heads to Lambeth to investigate Steric Soothing Syrup, while Evie traces the Precursor artifact to the home of Master Assassin, Edward Kenway. This Soothing Syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving anytime soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. Alright. We have a mission over here. Oh, hi, Clara. I was like, who the hell is talking to me? Train, hideout, runaway train, suggest level three. Quickly repair the out of control train before it derails. Okay, yeah, sure. Somebody uh, installed the wrong part. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to drop. There you go. Where is this merchant fella? Oh, he's all the way down there. Holy shit, that's a that's a root. Okay. chest up there oh. the lock pick chest
I would like a seven-inch flywheel, please. Hang on a minute. Damn it. I can't get a blessed thing done around here. Miss Evie! I've done something dreadful! The train won't stop! Keep your flywheel. Yeah, it does have a knack. Get in the damn carriage. Here now. See your night, Avon. Quick! The brakes are gone. She's bursting into flame. Fly around and put out the fires while I fix the brakes. These fires won't put themselves out. Where does this blaster thing go? priorities rather than worrying about an animal's uh, of being abused or not. Come on, 30 seconds and we should be stopped. What was that? I'd better check on the driver. Tell Bob not to make any more improvements on the train. Considering he doesn't exactly know what the fuck he's doing. Alright. So. Got a Ned thing there. Got cable news there. Alexander Graham Bell. 
Charles Dickens memory. Uh, Robert Topping. Simple matter of murder. Later. Fast travel to the train. Sometimes. I don't like that it swapped me to Jacob, but I get it. Oh, right. I have not leveled him up since last playing in this one. That one. He's now level four. All right, inventory. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes, fine. Inventory. Alright, I actually have a belt that I can get him now. Oops. You know what I just realized? All of these years of since playing this game, you can equip them immediately. As long as it doesn't say bye. I'm an idiot. Uh, oh well, it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, stealth revolver. Which one design do we like the more? Do I like more? Um, I think I like that one more. We'll look with that one. We'll look with that one. All right. Nothing's unlocked higher than that. Yeah. Okay. You know, I really like the cane for him. I like for both of them because I love the the cane fighting. But technically, he's supposed to use the pirate knuckles. Uh, not the pirate knuckles, but the 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 brass knuckles. Uh. Nah, I'm going to keep him with the cane. Alright. Belts. That's as high up, I believe. I don't believe those socks are there. Outfits. Whites. Ooh. Um... Let us do this one. No, no, we should do this one. 
Let me swap to Eevee of my own will. Oh, damn. Okay, fine. Ooh, there's a carriage right there. That'll help. God, he moves so slow compared to her. Let's go. Fine, girl. Would you look at this mess? Young bum boozer comes in here, argues with the regulars, rattles their cage. I don't need problems like that. The Apprentice. Yeah, I seen him. Looked like he was about to vomit. I told him to get out of this. He went to throw up in the alley. Did you see where Bob went, mate? What? Bob? Bob's me chummies. The fellas he was arguing with left right off aided. Uh-oh. He was arguing with some pricks. And they left immediately after he did. followed him. Do ya? 
He's crossed the wrong bloke's ears. Come along, Bob. You want it back at the train. My leg's gone wrong. Well, that's just lovely. Come on, then. I recommend Sit. you stop ah. struggling. How about you have to kidnap him and take him to safety? Ladies are the least of your problems. What are those brigands up to now? Wait, I think I heard something. Right, I'm coming to deal with you. Can't we have five minutes of this? How are things? Of course. Cool. Keep a look out for another tavern, would you, Mr. Fry? A fellow gets thirsty. What's that thing? Close me, coward! Take a little jaunt to the hospital, shall we? Walk on, girl. Yeah, yeah. No. Push. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. But, like, you gotta get there as fast as you fucking can. Because the guy is literally bleeding out in the back. Yeah! 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 
been stuck like a pig. Here, I'll stitch you up. I'll be needing something to numb the pain. Aye. Oh, I'll get my whiskey. Could you make it gin? Okay. All right, so yeah, second with that, we're moving her up to the I think I gave him the industrial. How does the industrial look? Yeah. I think I like the red back gauntlet better for her because it matches her color scheme a bit more rather than the royal gauntlet and the industrial gauntlet you know industrial gauntlet feels like it matches him a bit more than it her and it's the same stats for now so uh we gave him the demonic revolver Let's give her the stealth revolver because you know theming capes Crimson Wing Cloak, yes, please. All right. And we're sticking with that. Okay. We're not far from Robert Topping's uh, mission. Let's go. Let's go say hi to the. Let's go do that. Stay clear on. No, it wasn't me, not guilty. Beg your pardon. 
You, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Toppin. Best bookie in all of London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Don's a bit of a ninkum poop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Snappy crunch. I hope to be like you when I grow up. Fuck it. Win streak. Let's go. Triple lined up. Oh well. She's so brutal. So brutal. She makes when she makes them makes them kiss. Hear her in my head what scream and now kiss fight, as she kicks the my one friends, into the other. Cheer as loud as you might for our new champion. Anybody fancy a challenge? Hmm. 
I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. How am I doing on money? I was just looking at it. There it is. 1667. Not worth it at the moment. All right. So we did toppings. We got some races and some fight clubs now on the maps that weren't there. Uh, there's the train. Ned down here. Clara down there. Dulip uh, Singh, which is um, Mr. Green. I think. No, I could be wrong about that. I don't remember. Anyway. We got J uh, not Jason, Jacob's uh, mission right there. We've got that. Um... 920. Let's go solve a crime. Let's go solve a mud. Excuse me, goddamn. very badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah, the charming and delightful Fry Twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third-rate lurid stories. Penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. Dreadful crime. To find the murderer, use Eagle Vision to search the investigation zones for clues, interrogate every sub uh, suspect. <clears throat> Press F1 to enter the progression log and access your collected evidence. Accuse the guilty suspect to solve the case and collect your reward. Be careful though, every false accusation will reduce the reward. I do 
find crime so delightfully entertaining, don't you? I mean, solving crimes, of course. Finding a solution is exhilarating. All right. Use WAS to select a topic and press E. Okay. They're a rough Weapons. bunch, but someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. I arrived to find the foreman dead, and the lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. Inspect the body. Oh wow, that body has gotten a little gone a little wrong. Warehouse Wilkins's body. A deep stab wound to the chest, a bandana obscures the victim's face. Claims he arrived to find Wilkins already dead body. Uh, already dead and the boy duly with his hands covered. Mentions that the workers are rough and often fight with one another. Hey kid, what's up? I was standing there, having a think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. When I come back, the man's lying dead and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. Hmm. Dooley, Buck's brother, child labor. Buck, Dooley's brother, child labor. Mr. Freem's owner of the factory. What's this? Warehouse letter. It has come to our attention that one of your workmen, a certain Mr. Colton, has been beating the child laborers. Our society finds this to be a matter of concern, as do you, no doubt. Please take action to curtail the practice. Miss Clara O'Day. Now let's talk to Dooley. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard. So one of the workers give him a thrashing. I tried to stop it, and he stops hitting Buck and starts hitting me. He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself, and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on, I wakes up, and the man's lying there, dead. Hmm. Warehouse knife, small knife with the initial D crudely scratched into the handle. I should return and find out about this. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody. I have everything I need to solve of the mystery and make an accusation. Hmm. All right, let's review the evidence, shall we? Wilkins was... was brutal, he was beating the children. Dooley's brother body. He claim, uh, claims he returned to find the man dead and Dooley holding a knife. Dooley claims he was sudden. Uh, claim, 
uh, claims he was suddenly accosted and beaten. His brother, Dooley, tried to stop the beating and was beaten in return. Buck ran to find help. Claims he was knocked to the ground, he found his knife and lifted it up. When he was, he, then he was knocked out by a punch, awakened to find the man dead. It seems pretty straightforward that it's Dooley. You know, even if it was self-defense. Kind of don't want it to be either of the kids, you know? Kind of want to blame it on, on frames. Uh, but I don't think it'll let me. Not frames. The dead guy. Sorry, I have an itch. Hold on. I guess we're gonna have to blame Buck. Hold on a second. What? Yeah. Okay. Me? No! Oh, no, no, no. Not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. However, Artie, what advice would you give? I would encourage you to look the beyond the obvious. Beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. Wilkins wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights, trying to stop that sort of thing. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas. Hmm. So Mr. Colton is not Wilkins. That makes sense. medium footprint the imprint of a medium-sized worker's boot the imprint is marked by pebbles of coal and coal dust making it possible to follow the track Try to establish wilkins has small feet wilkins body has a bandana overhanded strike so tall assailant Betterment of child laborers, Colton? Question mark? Try to establish a motive. Large footprint. The imprint of a large worker's boots. Two sets of fingerprints, one child, one adult. Duly engraved it. I really I love how, how deep they go in on the on the whole uh, eagle vision aspect of this. You know, it feels very Sherlock Holmes. 
Traces of coal, medium sized murderer. Question mark. Flex of coal. This way, more flex of coal. Cracked bits of coal. More coal. Tons this way. Cracked bits of coal. You can always check your case file way. to refresh your memory. Oh, More. shut up, Artie. More coal. Taylor works in the coal yard. Me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself, oh, and there he was, dead. I didn't stick Next around. Time, Somebody might think I've done it. Still, it'll be worth it to up in that The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Taylor works in the coal yard. Talk to Morris. <coughs> well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. Cigarettes. Dub dub cigarette butt. I didn't ask about this. To refresh your memory. Large footprint. The imprint of a large worker's boots. Like the one we found at the crime scene. Look for more clues. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor? Cigarette might be his. smoking months ago you know i saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning didn't see what was so someone from the brewery well like i said i was inside didn't get a chance to come out to smoke colton left though you could talk Colton. to him. He's working in the loading area just now. More cigarettes. Let's talk to let's talk to him first. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. I yeah, he smoke. doesn't like the kids. Never did. Liar. If you don't, then what the fuck is this? Cigarettes. Stubbed out. Uh, so oh, stubbed no. out I didn't ask parts. about this. Look for more clues. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? I should be foreman here. Wilkins coddled the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. That was much more difficult than it initially appeared. Well done. Oh. Up to the click with you. An altercation between a boy and a workman ends in death for the workman. The boy remembers lifting a knife, but not the actual killing. Did he do it? No. In fact, the dead worker, one John Wilkins, heard screams and ran to offer assistance. Once there, he found the boy unconscious and another workman, Tom Colton, standing unharmed. But Colton, long angry with Wilkins, thought fast and stabbed the man with the boy's knife. He then put his own bandana over Wilkins' face. Quick thinking. However, did not win out. Colton has been unmasked as the murderer. Hi, 
I love the crime solving in this game. A country club. Ooh. You need to be level five to wear it. Shame. All right. Okay. What time is it? Nine forty. All right. Um. No. Wait. Um. See here. We have collectibles to get. You want to do a race? No, I'll do the races and stuff on my free time. Um. I'll do the, my race. I'll do the races in the fight clubs in my free time. Um, we'll do the murders and the hunt, bounty hunts on in in stream, and we'll do these missions. Let's meet with Clara. Actually, let's do the Templar hunt and then meet with Clara. Go get the Fletchers. The Fletchers. Josephine Fletcher kill both targets at the same time. Ooh. And what do we say afterwards? May Understanding guide us. And who mm. do you serve? The Grand Master. Get out of Excellent. Run huh? along now. <laughs> I'm not here. You see nothing. Back to uh, hanging out with your sister or wife or whatever she is. Hopefully not both.
Ouch. Come on, people. Re, 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 re. Do I need to go away and come back? Okay, I need to go away and come back. I can defeat anyone, win any battle. <laughs> this <clears throat> there we go <clears throat> excuse me god damn Let me put a cough drop in my mouth. Our plan is coming along splendidly, Josephine, darling. Darling, so they are married. I'm ready to pull the trigger. I did double assassinate them. Did double assassinate them. Shame. Oh well. What's done is done. Can't be undone. All right, now let's go talk to Clara. Very amazing. Oh, this is Charles Dickens, not uh, Charles Dickens, not Clara O'Day. Right. Oh well. Same difference. Dickens. Dickens. Death, 
surrounds thee both. Get thee behind me! I mean, fair. They kind of do, though. Alas, they kind of do. These days, stupidity is all too prevalent. You know, I never asked your names when we last met. I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother Jacob. Tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly. Yes. I'm skeptical myself. Here we are, in the world's most advanced city, yet its citizens are so enthralled to the supernatural, they leave themselves vulnerable to charlatans, which is why I joined the Ghost Club, the first society in the world to look systematically at the phenomenon. Because truth, like a spirit, must be cajoled before it will reveal itself. Will you join us? Sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why not? It does sound <laughs> intriguing. Splendid. I have your first case. <coughs> Goddamn. There's been some disturbing reports about a series of assaults in Lambeth. People claim they're being attacked by an age-old demon, Spring-Heel Jack. The fiend is no doubt on the prowl as we speak. It's up to you to find him. On it. It's it. Everything was to your satisfaction. Lighter. A blight. Uh. by some passers-by. Somebody has to do something before he attacks another. Pressed flowers. Your music box. <sighs> yep, exactly right there. I love the design of the music boxes.
It doesn't matter. No one will miss me. I've never even been in. Looks like he ran this way. Come on, Evie. There you go. <laughs> you do not want to. Oh. Fuck off. Looks like he ran this way. A heavily guarded warehouse. Hmm. I wonder what they're heavily guarding. This with dynamite. Ah! 
Come again now. All right, it's 10 o'clock. That's a pretty good place to call it. Honestly, uh, we made some progress. Um, so things I'm going to again, things I'm going to do in my free time. I'm going to do races. I'm going to do fight clubs. Um, <clears throat> actually, no, I want to I want to do the these red missions right here like these ones on stream just like i want to do these ones on stream and these on stream so yeah collectibles races fight clubs those are what i'll do in my free time um the rest i'll pretty much the rest i'll do on stream anyway so yeah that's it from me for the night we'll be back tomorrow with tomb raider tuesday and more uh rise of the tomb raider um so until then uh yeah, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in that link tree right down there. Um, <clears throat> speaking of that link tree, you should absolutely check it out because it is um, where you could find where else you can find me. You know, you can find me on a, on my socials, YouTube, uh, Patreon, all that wonderful stuff, <coughs> my Discord, etc. So please, absolutely, uh, if you like this, please go check out that other stuff. Um, if you're actually watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do not remember to say that enough, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, that's it for the night. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.